Hi, I'm Taylor Kibble, Neil Systems Application Specialist. Hello, I'm Dexter Villar, Neil Systems Applications Engineer. And we're here today to talk to you about Schneider, Schneider Electrics, Electrics Foxboro RTT15S Temperature Transmitter. Now, this is Schneider Electric's latest offering in the Foxboro line of temperature measuring instruments, which also includes related accessories such as temperature sensors, specifically thermocouples and RTDs, as well as thermowells of various configuration types. These are all items that we'll be featuring in future videos, so stay tuned. With the RTT15S, you're getting a microprocessor-based temperature transmitter that uses a heart communication protocol. In addition to thermocouples and two, three, or four wire RTDs, the unit can also take in ohm and millivolt signals as well. This unit is in an explosion-proof housing with optional display and optical buttons for local configuration. It's also available as a basic module that can be surface or DIN rail mounted. If you choose to add the LCD display, you can configure the display with either a red or white backlight. The basic configuration using these optical buttons is a snap. Come on, check it out. All right, so in our demo unit here, the temperature sensor we have connected to it is a three-wire, 100-ohm platinum RTD sensor mounted in a thermal well. Let's go ahead and configure the instrument to have a 0 to 200 degree Fahrenheit measurement range with a 4 to 20 milliamp output that linearly represents that range. We'll do this by going into the unit's basic configuration. Now, on the RTT15's front face, you have three optical buttons, up, select, and down. And because they're optical, all you really need to do to, is to use your fingers to sort of break the light that they see to actuate them. We'll go ahead and get into the instrument's programming now by simultaneously actuating the up and down arrow keys. The first prompt that comes up asks whether you want to go into advanced configuration. We just want basic for now, so I'll select no here. The next prompt asks whether you have a single or dual sensor. We have a single one, so let's pick that. What kind of sensor do we have? We have a temperature sensor, so let's pick temperature. What is our sensor type? It's a platinum RTD, so I'll pick PT here. PT stands for platinum. How big of an RTD is it? It's 100 ohms, so I'll pick platinum 100 ohm RTD here. PT 100. How many wires does our platinum RTD operate with? It's a three-wire one, so I'll pick three-wire here. We want Fahrenheit, so I'll pick uh, degrees F here. Here's a prompt now for a filter time constant, which you can put in in case the signal from your temperature sensor is, for whatever reasons, electrically noisy. Let's keep it at the default value of one second. And now we're getting into how you want the transmitter's analog output range. Here's the prompt for output range low, which we'll keep at 4 milliamps. We want the output range high to be 20 milliamps, so we'll keep 20 milliamps here. You can at this time put in output low and high limits that enable the analog output to go down to below 4 milliamps or exceed 20 milliamps in case of trouble with your temperature sensor, like if the temperature sensor is shorted or broken. We'll put in output low and high limits of 3.5 and 22 milliamps as the levels the output will drive towards if a sensor problem ever comes up. Sensor error. Here's where you specify how the instrument reacts to a shorted and or broken sensor. You can have it react to just when the sensor's shorted and ignore when it's broken, or you can have it react to when the sensor's broken and ignore when it's shorted, or you can have it react to both sensor trouble conditions. Let's choose both. How does the transmitter react to a shorted or broken sensor? By driving the analog output towards low and high limits specified earlier. So for when the output is broken, we'll uh, keep this default value here that it's picked of 3.5 milliamps. Where should the output drive to in the event that the output is shorted? We'll keep that at this default value of 3.7. Finally, we can set our temperature range. And again, we're gonna make our temperature low limit zero.
and we'll make our temperature high limit range 200. And we're done. Click yes to save and the unit's configured. And there you have it. For more information on this product, check out the links below where you can download the RTT15S data sheet and user's manual. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can visit our website for more information about us. We're at www.nealsystems.com. I'm Dexter Villar. And I'm Taylor Kimball. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Remember that we're part of the Applications Engineering Group here at Neal Systems, your solutions provider and technical supplier of plant and process automation. Call, Call us! us.